Hi, I'm Crystal. I've loved dolls since I was a child, and I never outgrew it. So, when I discovered Reborn Dolls, my collection started to grow. There's Haley, Landon, Avery, Chloe, Shiloh, Grace, Jamie, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, and Ava. Along with collecting, I've been a Reborn artist since 2008. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys, so guess what? I'm here with a box opening. Naomi has arrived back home. And for those of you who don't know who Naomi is, um, she is the second Estelle kit that I painted. The first Estelle kit that I painted was my very first Reborn that I made. And I think it was like 23 or 24 Reborns later, I did another Estelle kit. And to be able to see the progression of work between the two and how far I've come with my art was pretty amazing to see the difference between the two. Um, I went to the Downey Stall Show last summer and entered her into the reborning contest and won third place in the intermediate category. So that was very exciting. And soon after that, I made the decision to sell her because I couldn't justify having two Estelles in my collection. And even though I don't tend to play with the first Estelle, like my very first Reborn I made, Chloe, um, even though I don't play with her very much, um, because she's not uh, as good quality as the other Reborns I've made. Um, she still has a special place in my heart just because she was the first Reborn I ever made. And I will never get rid of her just for that fact. Even if she just is a display baby, um, I will never get rid of her because she was the very first one that I made. And it's so nice. To, it's nice to be able to look back and see how far I've come with my art. Um, so Naomi went to a new mummy, I believe in Canada. I think she was in Winnipeg actually. And she was so happy with her and I was so happy that she had found a home. But there was always a little piece of me that was sad that I let her go just because she had won a contest. Here comes Riley. Um, you know, and so I always felt a little bad about selling her because she was special to me in that she won. She she was the first award I won for reborning. And um, even though I made like a display box with my award and um, pictures of her, it just wasn't the same as having her actually here. And so I learned that her mom... Um, did a trade with someone um, to get another dream baby of hers and this other person received Naomi. So she now was on to mummy number two. And I felt a little sad I, um, to see her being moved around, but this new mummy seemed happy with her too. Um, but then as we know, like in the doll world, like there's a lot of change and there's always new kits coming out and there's always new dream babies that we want. And so sometimes we have no choice but to sell some of our collection to get that dream baby. So unfortunately, mummy number two was selling um, Naomi to get her dream baby. And when I saw her up for sale, just something in me said I need to bring her home because she's just so special to me that, you know, she won an award. And she was my best rooting job. And that was one of the things that I loved about her was her hair. So I'm a little bit nervous because she's been shuttled around between two mummies <laughs> and has been shipped, you know, essentially three times now. So I'm a little bit nervous to see what she looks like now. Um, but I know that I can always fix her up if need be. So let's get to it and see um, Naomi. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so it looks like some goodies came with her. There's a little Playtex Vent Air bottle. I hope you guys can see. There is this cute little newborn size Faded Glory onesie that has some little ruffles. Cute. There is Faded Glory newborn size fleece pants. Those are really cute. I love fleecy stuff. Oh, and a little vest. Oh, it must be a set. So it must be maybe the, the onesie goes with it. And then you have the little vest. Or maybe, oh wait. Oh no, I think this is the top because it's the purple color. Yeah, it's like a little long sleeve onesie with the little, um, and they're all newborn faded glory. And you put like the vest with it and it's purple and it has a butterfly guys that's so cute and then there's these little uh child of mine by carter's newborn pants with these little ruffles and this little onesie it says auntie loves me and size new newborn and it's oh and it's long sleeve it's good because it's still kind of cold here, guys, and they're calling for flurries this afternoon, if you can believe it. And then there's a little child of mine striped newborn onesie. I think I might have a onesie that looks like this, actually. Um, and there are, oh, look at these diapers, guys. I've never seen diapers like this before. They have little polar bears and penguins on them. How cute! I've never ever seen that. That's amazing. Oh, and she still has her original Passy that I sent her with. It's a monkey Passy, guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm so glad that she has her Passy. And I found uh, the dress. Um, that I had sent her off in. I found the Jimbery dress and it actually has already arrived. So it's here waiting for her. Okay, I'm going to take her out. Oh, there's a little, a little sock down here. Um, I don't know where the other sock is. Hold on, guys. We'll have to dig around and see. It must be somewhere in here. Another sock. We'll figure it out. Let me just move this box out of the way. Okay, guys. I'm just going to put her down here. And I think I'll readjust the camera so that you guys can see. Okay, guys. Here we go. I am so nervous. I'm just so nervous. I hope she's not like a mess. <laughs> no offense to any of her previous mummies. I'm just saying like, it's always nerve wracking. It's a little bow. Okay, here we go. Oh, here she is. She does still have her sleeper that I had sent with her, her monkey sleeper. And she's wearing a little hat. Okay, she's looking good. Looks like her eyelash got a little bit bent up. Like it's like not up. I might need to replace her eyelashes, but her hands look, are looking good. Her fingers are just like I remember. And her little feet. Oh, okay, let me see her hair, because her hair was, I know I'll have to brush it. I'll have to get it combed up. Mm, it's not bad, actually. Oh, hey, Naomi, welcome home, baby girl. I'm so glad I was able to bring her back. Oh, her swirl, like, 
is still pretty much in there. I'll just have to like brush it a little to define it. But her hair is like perfect. Yeah, and I had forgotten like how good I weighted her. She's got a good weight. I don't think her body's been changed. I'll know because um, I believe I signed her bum. Oh, here's her feet. Looking at her feet. I hope you guys can see okay. Look at her. She's so sweet. Yeah, she was like one of my favorites. Okay. I'm going to take off her diaper because I want to see. Yep, there's my signature. Crystal Seski 2013. So she still has her original body. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if her weight's shifted some. I can't remember what I did. I don't know if I put a... Uh, is that just stuffing or if I put um, one of those belly fat inserts. I always do something different so I can't really remember. But, yay, she's home. And honest to God, like... She's not bad at all. Um, her eyelash, that was a funny eyelash. When I put it on, it kind of went on a little bit weird and I couldn't figure out how to fix it, but it, I think I, I thought I had fixed it pretty good, but it looks like it's just over time like bent up. So I think I'll just replace her eyelashes. But other than that, she is Good, and I'll just have to get her hair brushed up and fixed up and then she'll be just like how I remember her. I'm so glad she's got her monkey sleeper, even though I actually have this monkey sleeper for one of my babies. I think I actually use it on Chloe. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. They'll have like matching sleepers, but yeah. Oh, I'm just so happy she's home. So happy. But yeah, wow, that eyelash, I don't know, like, what happened with that. But I'm going to definitely fix that. It's too bad because this eyelash on this side is perfect. But um, I don't want to, like, mix the colors or anything. So we'll figure it out. We'll get new eyelashes on her. So I am just going to um, stop for a second and I'm going to brush up her hair and then we'll come back and show you her all fixed up. All right, guys. Mm, this lighting isn't that great, but I replaced her eyelashes. So she looks much better. And I actually hesitated. Once I took her eyelashes off, I actually hesitated putting new ones on right away. Because I noticed that her face is a little bit shiny, and I don't really recall it being shiny when I had her last. Not this shiny. Um, and so I had thought of doing like a matte varnish um, and baking it. It's just that you can't bake with the eyelashes on or else they melt. <laughs> But I was really anxious to get her new eyelashes on. I thought, oh, well, I'll just do it. But it may mean that I have to replace her eyelashes again somewhere down the road if I decide that I want to matte varnish her. Um, it's not like she's super, super shiny or anything, but she's shinier than I recall. Um, and it's weird because usually... If kits go shiny, it's usually the limbs that go shiny more than the face I've found anyway. I have yet to have a reborn's face go shiny on me. It's usually just their limbs because that's the part that you handle the most. But anyways, I fixed up her hair. And it's still kind of drying because I will like um, fluff it up a little so it's not so pasted to her head. <laughs> 
Um, but, sorry for the mess, guys. This is all my eyelashes and stuff. But here is her nice swirl. All nice and combed. And I love her hair so much. So, yay! She's here. And I am happy to have her back. And her eyelashes are looking good. And so we'll see. I mean, somewhere down the road, I can, if I feel like I need to give her matte varnish, I can do it. It's just, it took me a while to, it always takes me a while to set eyelashes because I want them the right length and they're just placed so. Um, but... I just couldn't wait. I didn't want to have to take her head off and all that stuff right when she got home. So I just gave her her new eyelashes for now and we're going to enjoy her this way. And um, I am waiting on shoes for her um, because I want to dress her exactly how she was dressed when I put her in the competition. Um, so I have the dress, um, but I don't have the shoes yet. I just ordered them last night from McPherson's um, and they no longer had the little socks that went with them um, but I will just pair them with another roughly pair of socks and then that will be her Easter outfit too because it's kind of an Eastery looking kind of dress so anyways I am going to end this video here and get some stuff done because I'm a little bit behind schedule on things that I need to get done because I did not expect to be replacing her eyelashes, which took me about a half hour. <laughs> so anyways, guys, we are going to sign off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And everybody, say hello to Naomi. Welcome home. Um, she didn't come with her paperwork, but... That's okay because I made her, so <laughs> I know that I, I made her, and I believe I still have her birth date written down somewhere, um, so I'll just make up a new birth certificate for her, um, and I'm going to just put her actual, like the date that I finished reborning her, which was in, I believe, May of 2013, I just don't know the exact date, but... Yeah, I fixed her up, and you can see her little baby fine hairs and all that stuff. And I just love her little swirl. <sighs> I'm glad she's home. Yay! All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye, aunties. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hi, guys. So I am here to do Avery's story. Um to share with you um, when Avery was born and the story of how I brought her home. All that good stuff like I did with Landon and Haley. So, to start off, this is Avery Lynn. Her middle name is Lynn. I actually had totally forgotten about that. I looked back in her book and yeah, her name is Avery Lynn. <laughs> 